Welcome to part 4. In the last video we started to get our PHP file set up and we're ready now to start working on the PHP validation. So just to briefly go over this file again, um, we set up a couple basic variables to start with. We went ahead and set up two arrays, one to hold all the form elements, and or excuse me, the names of all the form elements, and another one to hold just the names of the form elements that we have to validate. And um, I do this primarily so we can set all these elements to nothing, so we don't run into errors. However, it is nice to have it as a reference, just to keep it fresh in our minds. So the, the main part that we need to start working on is this section here. What happens after the form is submitted? What do we do? So the first step that we need to do is we need to get the form data. And because we have each of these form elements in an array like this, it makes it really easy. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste my for loop again. And this time what we need to do is we need to go ahead and so form elements as element and we need to set form element equals and we want to make sure we use HTML uh, special characters like so. Um, this will help make sure there aren't any invalid characters in the input and then we're going to do post and element. So what this is going to do is it's going to loop through each of our form elements and it's going to set um, our form array that will hold all the form data and it will grab that from our form. So that's the first step. And then the second step is we need to actually check those form elements. Um, I'm going to skip the check step for now just in case, or excuse me, um, I'm going to I'm going to step the check form elements section for now. I'm going to come back to it in a minute. And what we want to do, um, we're going to assume that we've checked through all the form elements and then let's go ahead and see if the form is still valid. So. Because how we're going to work this is if you'll notice we have a valid form variable up here and it starts out being true. And we're going to check through all the form elements and if there's an element that's invalid we want to display the form again and we'll set this value to false. So it, down here in, we're going to go ahead and check if it's valid and so if valid form So if it is valid, we want to redirect because the form submitted successfully. Um, at this point, for example, if you were building out a full function and contact form, this is probably where you would go ahead and put your mail script or however you wanted to process it. But just for this simple example, I'm not going to do anything with the data. I'm simply going to redirect the user. So I'm going to redirect using header. And it'll be location. Redirect like so. Now if for some reason the form does not pass validation, we want to go ahead and display the form back to the user. So what we're going to do is we'll do an include. Actually, we don't even need to write it out. We can just copy and paste. So I'll copy and paste my include here. Okay, so that's a good chunk, and the last thing we need to do is go through and check all of our form elements. So let's go ahead, um, let's assume for some reason that our form elements come back. Well, I'll put that on pause for now. Let's, let's go ahead and start checking our form elements, and I'll set up the code, at least some of the basics, and I'll go ahead and show you how it's working so far. 
So first thing of all, let's go ahead and check any required fields. So that's pretty simple. I'm just going to do if form, and I'll start with the name variable and make sure that is set up properly. So if form name equals nothing, so the user didn't input anything, I'm going to go ahead and set an error message. So error name equals, and I'm going to say, um, please fill in all required fields. Okay, like so. And then, like I was talking about a little bit earlier, I'm going to go ahead and set valid form equals false. Okay, so then I'm going to just go ahead and copy and paste this two more times, like so. And so we need to check the name. We want to check the phone. And finally, the email. OK, I'm going to save it. And let's go ahead and preview it and see how things are working so far. OK, so when the fir form first loads, we get a standard blank form. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. Let's say that I somehow made a mistake and I hit Submit. Let's see what happens. Uh, please fill in all required fields. That doesn't look quite exactly right. Um, might have a bug here, so let me just double check. Um, those are correct. Let me check the source code and see what's going on. Oh, I know what happened. Um, let's go back to the code itself. And I realized I missed something. Um, this error message needs to include the error open and error close variables. So I missed that. There we go. So I'm going to just briefly copy and paste this section. Save it, and now let's preview, and it should be working fine now. There we go. Um, looks like one is missing somehow. So let me check that too. Maybe I have a typo. Check my form. I believe it was entering in a couple extra spaces, and those spaces were being picked up. So let me go ahead and double check and make sure that was the case. OK, there we go. So yeah, um, I had a little bug in my form code. I had tabbed this in earlier, and I guess it was adding some extra spaces that were messing up the value. So just doing that took care of it. 